Hello everyone, welcome back to Mama Gibson's Reading Corner. Today we are reading another Amelia Bedelia story. This one is called Good Work, Amelia Bedelia. This is by Peggy Parrish and illustrations by Lynn Sweat. So let's get started. Amelia Bedelia, called Mr. Rogers. Is the coffee ready? Coming right up, said Amelia Bedelia. She poured a cup of coffee. She took it into the dining room. There, said Amelia Bedelia. Would you like something more? Yes, said Mr. Rogers. Toast and an egg. Fine, said Amelia Bedelia. She went into the kitchen. Very quickly, Amelia Bedelia was back. Mr. Rogers picked up the egg. He broke it over his toast. Confound it, Amelia Bedelia, he said. I didn't say a raw egg. Oh, no. But you didn't say to cook it, said Amelia Bedelia. Mr. Rogers threw down his napkin. Oh, go fly a kite, he said. Amelia Bedelia looked surprised. All right, she said, if you say so. Amelia Bedelia was out in the field, and she had a kite. Now that was nice of Mr. Rogers, she said. I do love to fly kites, but I better get back. Mrs. Rogers might need me. <laughs> sure enough, Mrs. Rogers was calling. Amelia Bedelia, here I am, said Amelia Bedelia. There's a lot to do, said Mrs. Rogers. Do you know how to make bread? I make good cornbread, said Amelia Bedelia. No, I want white bread, said Mrs. Rogers. You are a good cook. Just do what the recipe says. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Here's a list of other things I want you to do, said Mrs. Rogers. I'll be out until dinner time. Don't worry, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll get everything done. Mrs. Rogers left. I'll start with that bread, said Amelia Bedelia. She read the recipe. Do tell, she said. I never knew bread did magic things. Amelia Bedelia got everything she needed. Quickly, she mixed the dough. Amelia Bedelia set the pan on the table. Now, she said, you're supposed to rise. This I've got to see. Amelia Bedelia sat down to watch, but nothing happened. Maybe you don't like to be watched. I'll come back, said Amelia Bedelia. Let's see. Amelia Bedelia got her list. Clean out the ashes from the parlor fireplace. Fill the wood box. Amelia Bedelia went to the parlor she cleaned out the ashes, and Amelia Bedelia filled the wood box. <clears throat> That's done, said Amelia Bedelia. What's next? She read, pot the window box plants. Put pots in the parlor. Amelia Bedelia went outside. She counted the plants. Then she went into the kitchen. My goodness, she said, I'll need every pot for this. She took them all. Amelia Bedelia potted those plants, and she took them inside. Now I better tend to that bread, said Amelia Bedelia. She went into the kitchen, but the bread still sat on the table. Now look here, she said, you are supposed to rise. Then I'm supposed to punch you down. How can I punch you down if you don't rise? Amelia Bedelia sat down to think. Maybe that pan is too heavy, she said. I better help it rise. Amelia Bedelia got some string. She worked for a bit. And that bread began to rise. That should be high enough, she said. I'll just let you stay there a while. She hung it from the light. 
I don't quite think that's what bread does when it rises. Amelia Bedelia picked up her list. Make a sponge cake. Amelia Bedelia read that again. I know about a lot of cakes, she said, and I never heard of that. But if she wants a sponge cake, I'll make her a sponge cake. Amelia Bedelia put a little of this and a little of that into a bowl. She mixed and mixed. Now for that sponge, she said. Amelia Bedelia got a sponge. She snipped it into small pieces. There, she said, into the cake you go. Soon the sponge cake was baking. I don't think Mr. Rogers will like this cake, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll make my kind of cake too. He does love butterscotch icing. So Amelia Bedelia baked another cake. There now, she said, I'll surprise him. Amelia Bedelia put the butterscotch cake in the cupboard and she put the sponge cake on a shelf. My, this is a busy day, said Amelia Bedelia. Let's see what's next. Call Al Kolu and ask him to patch the front door screen. Amelia Bedelia shook her head. Al Kolu can't patch anything. She said, I better do that myself. She got what she needed. And Amelia Bedelia patched that screen. Amelia Bedelia looked at the time. Oh, she said, I better get dinner started. Let me see what she wants. She read the list. A chicken dinner will be fine. Amelia Bedelia shook her head. What will she think of next, she said. Well, that won't take long to fix. Amelia Bedelia got everything ready. She set the table, and then she sat down to rest. Soon, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers came home. Amelia Bedelia, yelled Mr. Rogers. Coming, called Amelia Bedelia. What is this awful cloth on the front door, asked Mrs. Rogers. You said to patch the screen, said Amelia Bedelia. Can't patch without a patch. They went into the parlor. All my good pots, said Mrs. Rogers. And bad ones, too, said Amelia Bedelia. She potted all the plants in her kitchen pots. Mr. Rogers looked at the wood box. He shook his head, but he didn't say a word. They went into the kitchen. The sponge cake is pretty, said Mrs. Rogers. At least that's done right. Wait till they eat it. Something caught Mr. Rogers' eye. He looked up. What in tarnation is that, he said. The bread, said Amelia Bedelia. I plum forgot it. Do let me punch it down quick. She climbed up on a chair, and Amelia Bedelia began to punch. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers just stared. She's actually punching the bread pan. The bread pot plopped to the floor. Did I see what I thought I saw, said Mr. Rogers. You did, said Mrs. Rogers. <laughs> now, said Amelia Bedelia, dinner is ready when you are. Well, you can cook, said Mrs. Rogers. Dinner should be good. I hope so, said Mr. Rogers. I'm hungry. Just serve the plates, said Mrs. Rogers. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers sat at the table, and Amelia Bedelia brought in the plates. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers stared at the plates. But, but, that's cracked corn. 
It's all kinds of awful things, said Mrs. Rogers. You said chicken dinner, said Amelia Bedelia. That's what chickens eat for dinner. Mrs. Rogers was too angry to speak. Take this mess away, said Mr. Rogers. Oh, no. She's messed up. Mrs. Rogers said, serve the cake and coffee. Amelia Bedelia did. Mr. Rogers took a big bite of cake. He sputtered and spit it out. What in tarnation is in that, he said. Sponge, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers said to make a sponge cake. Don't think that was quite right. Suddenly, Miss Rogers laughed. He roared. Mrs. Rogers looked at the lumpy cake. Then she laughed, too. But I'm still hungry, said Mr. Rogers. I can fix that, said Amelia Bedelia. I have a surprise for you. Oh, no, said Mr. Rogers. I can't stand another one, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia brought in milk and her butterscotch cake. Ah, said Mr. Rogers. Hurry, said Mrs. Rogers. Give me some. Soon the whole cake was gone. How do you do it, Amelia Bedelia, said Mr. Rogers. One minute we're hopping mad at you, and the next we know we can't do without you, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia smiled. I guess I just understand your ways, she said. Well, once again, Amelia Bedelia's cake saved the day. I don't think too many people would still have a job if they did some of the things Amelia Bedelia did, but her employers, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers, seemed to be pretty understanding with her. I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did, and I look forward to seeing you back for another episode of Mama Gibson's Reading Corner. I hope you have a wonderful day, and keep reading lots of books.